it's the reminding it to yourself that I am working on it, and what can I do to get there? It's, well, I gotta do what is on the list of things that I know I have to do based on the conversations we have, and you'll get there. And then we're always gonna be leveling up. I'll give you an example. Or I'll speak to something you brought up earlier. I was at a, a day club the other day, and and of course, I, of course I got like seven contacts in there. And someone came up that follows our brand, Culture Matters. They, they were like, Culture Matters came up and they were talking about business and he's like, yeah, I wanna work with small businesses. I said, why do you wanna do that? And he said, he gave me a reason that was based on a lie he tells himself, which was, he wants to help them. Okay. What I said to him was simple. You wanna work with small businesses when the same conversation you're gonna have with small businesses is the same conversation you have with a giant business. And you're lying to me right now when you're saying, if you were to say that you wouldn't work with Uber versus the mom and pop, because of the social construct of us wanting to demonstrate our value to others and create love and belonging and independence and actualize through what we believe is important for us to show our worth, which is we have to you know, be the best. Like it's in our biology to be the best. So it's in our biology to say, yeah, I wanna work with Uber, not mom and pop. Doesn't mean we don't wanna work with mom and pop, but it's in our biology to say, well, of course I'd work with Uber. However, you saying to me, you wanna work with small business only, I believe based on listening to you and gathering information and asking questions and knowing you as a human, that's a lie you're telling yourself because you're too insecure to go for the big boy because of this imaginary reality you've created in your mind. So you're gonna go for the small business and this is the funny part about that, buddy. 96% of small businesses are in business. So how are you gonna build a business based on businesses that aren't in business? You're not and that's why you have no business and that's why you have no confidence and that's why you're not going for the big boys because you don't believe you can do it because the world is telling you can't and you're telling yourself you can't and what it really comes down to is you two things believing in what the hell I just said because you thought of a new way to look at things and the second thing is getting like getting really good at what you do because that plays into it, you probably don't believe you're good, just like most people on the planet don't believe they're smart because they don't. They do not, they're told no 100 trillion times whether they're 18, I was never told no actually. So I'm lucky, hell yeah. And that let me step into my genius zone. You have a genius zone, he has a genius zone, everyone has a genius zone. I was stepped into it. So we convince ourselves that we're not good enough, we're not smart enough, we're not capable enough, and the world tells us we can when we get there. So then we go, oh, Let's work with small businesses. You're not gonna change the world working with small businesses. You're gonna change the world working with giant businesses and then letting the small business buy your book or get your webinar or whatever because the small business needs to level up or else what happened the other day, we had a conversation. The, the mice will scatter without saying anything. About it. The mice will scatter when a light is shining on them. People that are an immense amount of personal power will scare the hell out of everybody. So that's why that's why people that have you know a Ferrari Bentley drive with the windows tinted. They don't want to deal with people's subjective construct of who they are.